This is the fourth dirty data we are going to clean and this one has hospital data sets with mixed numbers and characters inside the same column. So when you look at column B, you will see that the quantity is a mixture of both the quantity in values and the unit of measurement. So you can see that you have the value of 2 and then you have the measurement unit as tubes. Sometimes you are going to see measurement unit as bottles, sometimes they are in pieces and sometimes they are in pairs and so on and so forth and all we want to do is to be able to separate the numbers from the characters or from the text that we have there so i already have this data in my power query so one thing we are going to do first here is to go to transform and use first row as headers and we can know that our bone of contention here is the quantity column so i'm going to have my quantity column selected and for this particular data set, there is a clear pattern of what I would like to achieve as a new column. I want to separate all the numbers on one side and I want to have all the text on another side. So that basically has a clear pattern because inside each of these cells, all I have to pick is the numbers to give me the quantity measure and then the text on one side to give me the units of measurement. So for this one, I can go to my Add Column tab and leverage Power Query's Column from Examples. So I'm going to use Column from Example and ensuring that I have the quantity column selected, I will be using From Selection. And then I will have this blank column here where I can type in examples of what the new column is meant to contain. So this first one is supposed to have two. Then I'm going to try to provide another example in another cell until I can see the suggestions as a reasonable correct suggestion. So this one I can type 110 and then I will try to provide another example. This is not 12, this should be like 1.2. Now the more examples I provide, the more Power Query is going to understand what I'm trying to do and until Power Query gets it right, I will continue to provide examples. So this is meant to be 63. Then I will try to provide another example again. And now I think that Power Query has understood the pattern that I'm trying to create here. I will have to scroll down a little bit just to ensure that all the suggestions are actually correct. Power Query uses the first 1000 rows of data to find what you want here. Another way for you to also verify that Power Query has gotten your pattern right is to see the suggested M formula that is being written out. So we can see that here, Power Query is using something called table.select. It's selecting a couple of things from the quantity column and what is actually selecting is any point, that is the decimal, and then anything between zero and nine, which are the numbers. So if I click OK here, that looks to me like the quantities that I want. Then I can come back to the quantity column again, use my column from example from selection and this time I want to type in the units of measurement. So this is tube and I will try to provide another example. This is bottle. You have to spell it exactly the same way. I will try to provide another example. This is pairs. I will try to provide another example. Uh, this is PCS. Try to provide another example. And it seems like Power Query now has an understanding of what I'm trying to do here. I will scroll down a little bit to ensure that every example that I see here looks correct. And then I can also look into the M code that Power Query is trying to generate here. It is using text.remove. So it is doing the opposite of the other one. It is removing from the quantity column any dot or full stop and also anything between 0 and 9. So it is essentially removing the numbers and keeping only the text. So I'm going to click OK here and then it's also now just a matter of renaming these two columns properly and we have to make this kept characters first one as a whole number or a decimal number data type column. 